What's up, comic and pop culture fans? Let's go get a tattoo. What's up, guys? Well, it went well. I'm not going to show you it just yet. Actually, the hand holding the camera is the one where I got the tattoo. Um, but basically, the idea is I'm doing an entire villain sleeve down this arm. And I'm not just doing outright every villain. So I'm not having a picture of the Joker. I'm not doing Two-Face. I want like a weird artistical representation of those characters. Something that says who they are without outright showing it. I've already got a Joker-based tattoo. And I fittingly have it in like a Joker bat. So up next, I wanted to do Riddler. Two-Face, Scarecrow, Penguin. I originally was thinking about doing Riddler next, but I really just felt the need to do a Scarecrow. And there was this graphic novel I used to read a lot in the, uh, the 2000s, um, but I couldn't remember the name of it, so I had to just do a little Google searching and see if I could find it. Yeah, but here's the problem with trying to Google search some random image that you don't know what it's called. From some random graphic novel that you don't remember what it was titled. Kind of difficult to find. Doesn't help that it's a character that most people tend to forget. But I did manage to find it. And I specifically wanted to get a shot of just the Batman cowl being held up by the pitchfork. So I found it here. I uh, did a little Photoshop. Found a transparent image and got it sent out to my tattoo artist, said, hey man, can we do this? He actually suggested that I have some elements of hay in the mask to extra show that it's somehow represented by Scarecrow. I said, yes, sounds good. I did want to have a red bursting effect behind it. My girlfriend said that that would make it look infected and bloody, but I was like, um, okay. The metal head in me said, let's do it. All right, this is Nick. He's just setting up for me. How you doing, buddy? And we actually just got my stenciling in. There it is. Let's check it out in the mirror. That's gonna be it, guys. Gonna be uh, Scarecrow with Batman's cowl. This is actually the previous one that Nick here did for me like almost two years ago, so. That's pretty exciting. Please excuse the baby arms. Baby arms. Quick update, we're doing the line uh, lift. Shit, shit, Nick. <laughs> Shading. I don't know what I'm talking about. What's going on? We've got everything ready pretty much up to the point before we're going to get the color. Just mixing up our colors right now. How you feeling, man? Good. That's awesome. All right, we are now doing the color. I got that right this time, right? Yes. Yes, there it is. See that sweet blue? We're going for a more of a, like a 70s Batman look, which I think is gonna be fantastic. We're adding in the blues. Looks really nice. How's it going, buddy? Good. Going for the lighter blue aesthetic. And just like that, I was able to get one of my favorite DC graphic novel covers of just the Batman with the pitchfork onto my arm, and I think it's a fantastic representation of Scarecrow, and it's just what I wanted, a subtle nod to Scarecrow rather than just a drawing of Scarecrow. I couldn't be happier. I'm actually going back in two weeks and we're gonna add even more blue to this bad boy. Check it out guys. Um, as part of my channel, just so you know, hit join down below and I'm gonna let members of my channel decide what my next tattoo is gonna be. So join up so you can do things like that and vote. But yeah, Nick, Nick's holding the camera. Thank you buddy, it looks good. We're gonna get that wrapped in uh, the little trash bag, and I actually have to go to work for the next six hours, so should be fun. Thank you. Buddy.